What is up guys? Welcome to the channel. This is another cool restoration project. The history of this uh, scale weight is that there was my grand grandfather, and it is around 60, maybe 80 years old. So, for at least 20 years, uh, it was lying in my garage. And I thought that maybe it is a really cool moment to actually restore it and put in the living room. Anyway, uh, there is a several damages in this scale weight and the main concern is that this part is ripped off and um, I'm not exactly sure what kind of material it is. It is uh, probably steel which um, it won't be really great issue to weld it to this part. But we'll see what is it after sandblasting. So Let's disassemble it and clean off this old paint. Okay, so this is a little surprise. This is the cast iron and the brass. But look at this, this is much better than before. And um, I think if I polish this brass, it will look amazing. And by the way, I was looking for some similar weight on the web to find some information about the original look. And this leg and wooden base are obviously not original. What I found is this is a letter weight, not a kitchen weight. So I was wrong about the proper purpose of this weight. Anyway, let's polish this brass and start to fixing it.
Okay, so the brass has been polished and the metal plate connecting the frame and the rack is removed. And because the rivet seems to be tightly fitting in the hole, I won't remove it. Just fire some extra material from it and use it as a hole filler. Finger crossed, it won't be really visible after some blasting. Not bad. I'm happy how it looks and I think we can glue it to the frame. But what makes this task a little more challenging is that the rivet connecting all of the parts are sticking out of the frame. So I will use some small wooden board to make the frame and the severed part both lie flat and glue them together properly. And by the way, the iron is really hard to weld and I have no experience with that, don't have a proper tools and that is why I've decided to glue it. And to be honest, I hope that it will be just okay, but we'll see after I glue it, so let's start. Guys, I'm super happy how it looks and I think I will paint this glue connection in the matching color, but it looks amazing. The texture is the same, so except of the color difference, it looks absolutely perfect. So now, the fun part. We are going to recreate the missing leg. Take me where you go When the sun goes down like a lightning bolt We will make a sound Out in the dark Where no one sees us The electricity between us Out of bounds I can only be free Out of bounds If you're waiting for me
So the first part of the leg is finished, the only thing left is glue it to the frame. The second task is to create a leg stand. And I was thinking about making it from brass because I think it will look cool. Luckily, I've got a cast brass large O letter and the half of it is exactly what we need. Okay, so the basic shape is already cut, but the leg looks a little too heavy. So, I will thin this leg out and create, let's say, more classic look. So, as you can see, I've polished this leg without sanding it with fine sandpaper. And no, I'm not lazy. I've uh, done it on purpose. And the reason for that is uh, this letter weight was made, let's be honest, in a not overly detailed way. So, creating a perfectly look leg would be kind of weird and standing out. It just wouldn't fit the original design. So I've polished it to be shiny but not the mirror level. <laughs> anyway, mm, we are almost done so let's glue everything together and prepare the final assemble.
So guys, the letter weight is done. I'm super happy how it looks. It looks amazing. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did the project. Let me know down in the comment if you think that uh, this is a nice antique looking trinket to decorate your house with and if you have any question you can ask me down below in the comment. Also please subscribe my channel and um, give a thumbs up and see you next week. Have a good day. Bye bye.